Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video. This is 2 0 iqj We got ourselves a new toy to play with on the channel and we got ourselves a TID radio wireless programmer. Now I got this from Amazon. I was searching up um, ham radio kits and there was a pixie kit that come up which I was tempted to get to play around with and solder. I was also looking for a microcomputer kits that run basics. One of the ones that the A-bit guy does. If you haven't seen his channel, go watch it. The A-bit guy, he sold us all these uh, microcomputers together and I was hoping to get one of them. But this thing came up, it's a TID Radio wireless programmer, and this was about £26 delivered. Now, uh, it's okay, the app does have a few problems, and I'll explain that uh, in the video. So let's see what we get in the box. So we get the instructions, and that's the app you need to get, which is Oddmaster. And it's available for Windows, um, iOS, and it's also available for Android. You get a... USB-C cable to charge it because this thing's got its own battery and we got the device itself Now this connects to your smartphone via Bluetooth and it'll program certain radios. So if we open the manual up You'll see in the manual What radios are supported it also show you on the app So if I do That there you can never pause it at I read what radios it supports. So it supports the Bayer thing. It supports a TID radio uh, another TID radio, a Retivis for T T Ray radios, radio quality, and it supports others. And there we go. And some are in beta, and apparently they're updating the app all the time. So if your radio's not supported, things like that, or something doesn't quite work, apparently they're going to update the app. So it does work, but we should see. But only had this few few days. Now the connection on the side is a standard Bayofin connection there, or the Kenwood connection, and literally all you do is you plug it in to the side of the radio and there's a button on the top here which turns it on and it connects by the Bluetooth. Now on the app you can actually program in the name of your radio so when you turn the radio on instead of it saying welcome or saying nothing you can program it so it says like mine says Jez 2E0 IQJ. So let's plug it into my UV5R and we'll go ahead and read the radio. There we go, let's turn the radio on. So what I'll do now is I'll fire up the phone app and then we'll uh, see what we can do with the app regarding this radio. Okay, when you first run the app, it's gonna ask you to create an account, which I've already done. I've created the account. You need to make sure that the Bluetooth's on, on the actual radio. Press the button there, and it's on blue. We now to press. We need to press program. And the first thing we do now is press connect to Bluetooth. And it says device TID radio, and we turn it on. There we go. It's connected to the radio. Now we need to press select model. And I'm going to select a Bayo thing. And I've tried a UV5R, I've tried the 5R old firmware, 5R version B and things like that. And one that works for me is a 5R version B. And then we're going to press read and it should read the radio, which is what it's doing now. And you'll see there you've got flashing light on the actual unit itself. So you're flashing light there and you've got flashing light on the radio. And it does take about 25, 30 seconds to read the radio. Just over halfway done. Okay, so now it comes to the programs and settings and it reboots the radio. So what I like to do here now is just press on save and we're gonna call it repeaters. And there we go. And if I press on RX stroke TX list, you'll see there that you've got a GM, GMRS list, because it's American, FRS list, the MERS, repeaters, repeaters again, and repeaters one. And you can share that with people because this app's like a social media type app as well, but I won't go into that in this video. 
And if I go to, so channel, whatever that channel is, let's try 56. I think it's 56, there it's on. No, let's try it, just try it, 54. That's GB3WI. Um, let's go, uh, what else have we got? Oh, it's 58. So we do 59 for the video. Turn on number, 59. Should be, there we go, you can see there, cube to m Now we can program in a repeater and press right. But if I press on function, and you can set your band A frequency mode, band B frequency mode, the DTMF, and so on. Now down the bottom here, you can do your WX, RX, TX LEDs as well. So mine's purple, purple, blue. If you go right to the bottom there, you've got your power on message, mine's set to message. And you've also got, I've put 20 IQ JJs. You can also turn your Roger bleep on and off, your alarm as a tone. And you can also turn it on and off the FM radio. You can turn all different things off in the midst, stop it from going to the menu. You can stop it so you can't reset it and so on. Now, let me go on to uh, another radio. So what I'll do is I'll turn this radio off. And we'll read, we'll program in this radio. So it's still connected. And this is the UV5X. Now this has got weird frequencies in this one. This is what it was programmed as. If I go back, and we're going to go to slip radio. Now this is weird because it, I need to do UV5R old firmware. And it should read the radio. And there we go. It's now going to read the radio. For some reason, when I tried the UV5X, it wouldn't work. So it's now going to read the radio. It won't take as long because there's not as many memories in there. And you see there, we got channel 0. And we're going to change it to, let's try channel 1. It's got the frequencies in there. If I go to RXTX list... I haven't got um, that list I've just created, which is a shame, which means I can't clone the radio, which is one of the faults with the app. Also, we have a repeater function. And the repeater function list doesn't work in the UK. If I press on search, I've typed in IO92, UK, London. When I typed in London, I got, I got a repeater in America somewhere. So I presume it's for the American market. It's a shame because that would be very good to list the repeaters. If I went to... Um, Let's go, uh, let's go back on the app. Went there. So the three dots, three lines and a dot. I can search by distance 100 miles and sort by distance or frequency and so on. Or call location. It'd be brilliant if that worked because you could just list the repeaters 100 miles from your location. So you do need your GPS on. And then what you can do then is just upload that to the radio. Be nice and simple. Shame that doesn't actually work in the UK. So that's one of the things with it that I find wrong with the app. So let's program in a frequency. So we're going to program in um, one, four, five, four, two, five, zero, zero, zero. And you'll see there when I press TX frequency, it's now put in as RX and TX frequency. Press done. I'll turn off the CTCSS and DCS tones. So off and off. Leave everything else as standard and we're going to call it um, cube 2m there we go we're going to press done at this point we can then write that back to the radio so let's go and write it to the radio we're going to press on write that's going to write that back that one channel back to the radio There we go, it says OK. The radio now is now going to re reboot. It's going to say welcome. And there's our frequency. Now on the radio, it's not displaying the name. So if you go into menu, and if we go down, and I think it's um, 27 or 26. It's one of these, there you are, menu A. Menu number 21, and we'll change it so it says name. Exit. And you see there, cube to M. Now, another problem with this app, I find I can't enter in 325. So if I go on to the frequency again, I'm going to enter in 433.325. 0, 0, 0, 0. 
and it's put it in as 433-32375. Let's try again, 433-235, see if that works. That works, no problems. Let's try 433-4332375. That works, no problems. I just can't enter in 433-325. So my local repeater, GB3VH, is out of question. If they sort them little bugs out in the app, the app would be quite good. So if you can save a list and upload to all the different radios, then that'd be even better. So now I can just literally clone one radio, uh, read one radio, clone it to this radio. And if they were to support, uh, sort out the repeater function, so it works in the UK, like I said, I've tried London, UK, I've tried my IO square, I've tried my longitude and latitude, and nothing seems to come up, then it'd be good. And if I can sort of add a 433 bug, uh, where I can type, can't type in 325, then the app would be even better. I mean, the app's okay at best, but it has got them a few faults. And that was a quick look, well, it's 11 minutes now, so that's not a quick look, at a TID radio wireless programmer for your radios. It was £26 delivered from Amazon, and hopefully the app's going to get updated at some point with more features. And hopefully if they're going to, hopefully TID Radio is going to see this my video, and they're going to say, okay, let's sort out the the four three 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 two five. It doesn't even work on one four five three two five. Why don't we put that in there either? Let's sort out the issues that's been mentioned in this video, and hopefully that'll be a, be a brilliant app then, because then you can just take your smartphone out, program a bare thing. You got a bare thing yet? Here we are, I'll program it. There's all the repeaters. There you go. Do my one yet? No problems. You can get the radios programmed without taking a laptop with you and a load of old programming cables and so on. Anyhow, if you found the video of some use you know what to do, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, the other button seems to work too. But as always, thank you very much for watching. This is 2E0 IQJ. I will see you in the next video.